Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 as you can see on my shirt. Uh, that is some of the new merch which is linked in the description below. But uh, enough about that. Tonight we're doing another mukbang video. Um, you guys seem to be enjoying these mukbangs. I like making them. So um, we're switching up again tonight. I've got a different brown drink. This tonight is Pepsi. So far we've had Coca-Cola, uh, we had Dr Pepper in the last episode, and tonight we've got Pepsi. So uh, we're switching that up a little bit, and we've got some different food as well. We've got some uh, lovely Domino's pizza right here. So the small one right here, this is a uh, garlic bread and then this is a create your own ham and cheese on a classic crust so let's just get that open you might notice that the um, the sauce is missing there in the corner I threw it in the bin because I am not a fan of garlic sauce so there we go that is my lovely pizza it is a create your own ham and cheese and I've gone for some sausage on there as well because I do like sausage and then over here we've got a nice garlic bread. So uh, yeah, tonight we're doing Italian food. Um, I figured a pizza is kind of like the most Italian food. And we have another topic to discuss. Uh, we're not going to be discussing a controversial topic like we have been in some of the previous episodes. Tonight we're going to be discussing my new car. Uh, it's quite a nice topic to discuss. Um, I haven't actually got a new car, if that's what you're wondering. I'm discussing the new car that I'm thinking of buying um, next summer. It's a little bit off, but I want to discuss with you because it's an interesting topic. I like food, I like vlogging, I like YouTube, and I like talking about cars. So this is a perfect night for me. I do prefer Coca-Cola to Pepsi, but, you know... That will um, that will be overlooked tonight. I'm not going to worry too much about that. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who may be new to the channel, um, or if this is the first time visiting the channel, you may not know. Uh, my daily driver when I was 17 was a classic Mini, 1975 Mini Cooper, which I've made a few videos of here on the channel. I still own that vehicle. I'm not planning on selling that ever. Let's just take a big bite before we start. Getting into the um, topic of discussion. I've got Domino's Pizza. Obviously, you've just seen the box. And um, mm, it's definitely worth it. I've had quite a busy week. Um, so, it's... Um, Another chance for me to uh, have a takeaway. <laughs> I seem to be doing a lot of these recently. Uh, I do plan to make some homemade food mukbangs. Um, they're not all going to be takeaways, but at the moment for for easiness of making videos, I'm just doing takeaways. But yeah, Domino's is quite a good one. So, mm. I definitely think they create your own is a good way to start Domino's. If you've never had a Domino's pizza, firstly, what are you doing with your life? But secondly, let it create your own and then you can pick the toppings that you want. That's another thing that I forgot to disclose before we started this. There's gonna be a lot of like open mouth chewing and talking. So if that's something that puts you off, then click away now. Um, but for those of you who are here for a mukbang, um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. But yeah, as I was saying, my um, daily driver was a classic Mini. I drove that for the first year of driving when I was 17. It was a lot of fun. I still own the vehicle, as I said. And... Um, I also own a 2001 Mini 1 as well. And the reason I purchased that vehicle is because my classic Mini was leaking 
uh, water in the passenger side door. Which, um, if you know anything about classic cars, is it's not so much a concern. Obviously, it's not good to have water leaking in your car, but classic cars are just like that. They leak, they stutter, they break down for no apparent reason. But that is why I love them. It sounds really weird, but... If you know me at all, then you will know that I love classic cars. I like modern cars. There are some nice new cars. But, um... Classic cars have character. They have... They all have a... They all have a different uh, feel to them. If you drive a classic car and then you drive a modern car, they feel very different. And I'm not just talking about because the technology has changed. They feel alive, which new cars don't. Um, I can say with some confidence, you know, I've driven a classic Mini and I've driven a new Mini. A classic Mini is much nicer to drive, firstly, but it's completely different to drive than the new Mini. You know, my old Mini has drum brakes, doesn't have power steering, um, you know, it rattles, it um, has barely any suspension, so it does wreck your spine. Whereas my new Mini, it has shocks, it has servo brakes, it has disc brakes, it has power steering. Um, but it's just not as fun to drive. You feel more... It feels like you're actually doing something when you drive a classic car. Whereas a modern car, obviously we're getting autonomous cars. Um, more and more companies are building self-driving cars, especially Tesla. Um, so in future you, may not, you might not even have to have a driving license. Um, you can just sit behind the wheel and let it drive you where you want. But I'm very old fashioned. I like um, driving. I am a car guy, so I enjoy being in control of the vehicle. So um, I like getting to the roots of a vehicle. Let's see how this garlic bread tastes. Domino's garlic bread has to be, I think, the best garlic bread in the world. Pizza wise, obviously. Obviously, Domino's is the best pizza. There's no debating about that. Domino's just is the best. But um, their garlic bread is incredible as well. Um, but yeah, getting back to the actual topic in hand. Um, yeah, after the first year of driving, my, my old mini started leaking in. And I used that as it, for about a year as a daily driver. I ran it through winter. And at the end of my first year of driving is when it started leaking. Hmm. So I didn't want to um I didn't want to continue driving that thing when it was constantly getting wet until I'd actually fixed it. And I did I didn't have much time to fix it. I still haven't fixed it. But I didn't want it to get worse. You know, it was leaking water in, it was gonna rust the floor. And if you know anything about classic British cars, they rust quite a lot. So if you can prevent that as much as possible, that is good. Um, but I um, I decided to get a new car. And when I say a new car, I mean a modern car. Obviously, it was second hand. It's 2001, so it is quite old now. It's uh, 19 years old. But I just wanted something small, cheap, that I could run. And I also wanted something as a little bit of a project car. Um, if you've seen my new Mini, I did a video on it. Um, I've uh, customised it a little bit. You know, I've put a spoiler on, and some mud flaps, and some nice wheels. Um, I need to do a bit more eating and a bit less talking. But... Yeah, so I bought it because I wanted something as a project car, but mainly something that could replace my old Mini just for the time being until I get that fixed. 
And I wanted something that felt familiar. You know, I didn't want anything too new. And I figured since I drive a classic Mini, I might as well have a new Mini. My friend at the time, um, who's the same age as me, um, he had a classic Mini. Uh, uh, no, he had a, um, well, he had the Mini that I bought, the new Mini. And he didn't want that. So I said, you know, I'm looking for a new Mini. Do you want to sell it? And he did. And I picked it up. Um, so I've been driving that now for about half a year. I started driving that back in July. And it is now October. I had to think about that. And, uh, well, it's October when I'm making this video. It's November when it gets released. Um, but yeah, it, it's a fun car to drive, you know. It has a little bit of uh, zip behind it, you know. It's nothing crazy but it's such a small car um it is quite talky and it does feel very familiar you know if you've seen the inside of a classic mini they have like a clock in the center the speedo and the new minis have that as well they have a big speedo dial in the middle in the dashboard and you know the uh, the 2001 mini was the very first of the new minis the new bmw minis and um, so it looks i don't want to say it looks the same as the old one because it doesn't um but it it has like retro styling you know it looks of the bmw line of minis it looks the most similar to the classic mini and that's what i wanted something that felt familiar something that looked quite nice has a lot of tuning parts available for it and something that obviously doesn't leak. I'm going to have another one of these uh, garlic breads. That is the garlic bread. It's absolutely delicious. Cheesy garlic bread, as you can see. Um, sometimes they make it with... Um, sometimes they put the, uh, the tomato sauce on the bottom. On this one they haven't, they've just gone, um, you know, pizza base and then garlic and cheese. But sometimes they do put the tomato base on. I like both, to be honest. Um, some, it's just lucky dip, to be honest. It doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but I'm not a fan of some of their toppings. So I like to go with the create your own. The create your own pizza is nice because you can pick the toppings that you have on it. So I, I usually just go for the uh, the ham and the sausage on there. That is, in my opinion, the best. But they do have a selection of pizzas as well. So you can have like, you know, a classic Hawaiian. They have a meteor, which basically they put loads of different types of meat on it. Um... They have vegetarian options as well, which is quite nice. And if you're gluten free, you know, if you uh, can't have gluten, all Domino pizzas are gluten free. Um, they make it with corn flour instead of um, normal flour, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm not, um, I, I'm not gluten intolerant. Um, but if you are and you want somewhere to get pizza, then go to Domino's. It's all gluten free. Um, but yeah. Um, so I have a classic Mini. I have a new Mini, which is my daily driver at the moment. But you can probably tell that as much as I like my new Mini, it's not... I've not fallen in love with it. My classic mini, I've wanted a classic mini since I was five years old. I saved all my pennies and dimes. And when I turned 17, I bought my classic mini. Well, I actually bought it when I was 16. Um, but I drove that when I was 17. And now I've bought my new mini. I still have my old mini. Because um, I get a lot of comments about that. Um, have you still got your old mini? Yeah, I, I still have it. I'm not planning to sell that. And, you know, I love that car. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I love driving that thing. It's absolutely fantastic to drive. If you ever get the chance to drive any classic car, jump to it because it's fantastic.
Mm. But from going from driving a classic car that I really enjoyed to driving a more modern car, I like the look of it, you know, I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Um, but I've not fallen in love with it. It's a really nice car to drive, you know, it shifts really nice. It has a little bit of grunt behind it. So if you put your foot down, it does go. Um, you know, there's lots of parts available for it. You, you know, I could have spent a lot of money. I've already spent quite a lot of money on it. But I've just, I've not taken to it. You know, a car can be really nice, but you can just not be taken by it. And, you know, as I mentioned before, I am a classic car guy. I love classic cars. So, at least at the moment, my plan is to sell the new Mini next summer and get another classic car. And you may be saying, well, you sold your... Uh, sorry, you, you bought your new car because your classic car leaked. So, if you get another classic car, isn't that going to leak? Um, that's just a chance you have to take. It might. Um, but I want a, I want another classic car as a daily driver, but I want something, I want something kind of retro, but not too old. So possibly something 80s, sort of 90s, um, but something that I can customise as well. I, I like modifying cars. And I'd like to do a sort of road rally build uh, with whatever car I get. So, probably next summer you'll see, um, I'm probably going to do a video on um, the new car that I, well, the classic car that I end up getting. If I get one, I might not. But um, at, at this stage in my life, I am hoping to. Um, but yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to just discuss a couple of the um, the cars that I have sort of in the running. So my budget is going to be about uh, twenty five hundred pounds. So two thousand five hundred pounds. Um, that will leave me about £500 to uh, insure it. So, the runnings at the moment, I'd quite like um, something British, possibly. Um, you know, my Mini is a British Leyland Mini, 1975. Um, if any of you know anything about classic cars at all, you might know that British Leyland is not the most reliable um, manufacturer in the world, but they make a lot of nice cars. And frankly, I've not had any problems with my Mini so far. Um, I absolutely love that car. So if my next car runs as well as that does, I'm not fussed about that. I'm not also overly concerned about it being a bit rusty because it's going to be a daily driver if it has a little bit of rust that's nothing that you can't fix um so yeah the cars in the running at the moment um a classic ford anglia that would be a nice car uh, you can pick them up fairly cheap um i have actually seen a Ford Anglia Deluxe, which is basically the estate version of a Ford Anglia. Um, that's a very nice car. I've seen one of those. Uh, I think that was £2,700. But, you know, you can haggle people with old cars. That's the thing. Mm. Um, another car that's in the running that you might not think would be cheap. But is the Porsche 944. And I can already hear you clicking in the comment section saying a Porsche for £2,500. 
Yeah, believe it or not, you can get Porsche 944 that cheap. I'm not looking for anything in amazing condition. If it runs, drives and stops and it doesn't leak, then it's good enough for me. So yeah, if I could get a Porsche 944 for £2,500, that would be incredible. Uh, if you have one for sale and you want to message me, then uh, leave a comment down below. Um, another car that's in the lineup, which is kind of reluctant by my father. Um, my dad obviously has owned a lot of these cars in his time, um, so he knows a bit more about them. Um, you know, he, he's quite a big car fan as well. Um, but this is a car that he doesn't like, and that is the Reliant Scimitar, the GTE. Um, it is a classic British car. It's made by uh, the same people who make the Reliant Robin, the three-wheeler. Um, but it, it is a four-wheeler, just to put you all at ease. Uh... But that is a very nice car. I like it very much. It looks really nice. Um, they sound incredible. And you can get them in my price range. We've nearly finished the pizza here. But I haven't finished the discussion. We might actually get on to dessert tonight. Um, another car that I do quite like but they are a little bit out of price range, is the Rover SD1. Uh, they are quite nice cars. V8, um, obviously British Leyland. But they sound incredible. They are actually designed, uh, well they were designed by British Leyland. But they were they took inspiration from the Ferrari Daytona, which is a very beautiful looking car. Um, Sonny Crockett actually had a convertible one in the original Miami TV series in the first couple of seasons. Um, before he got his Tesserossa, he had a, a convertible. Uh, Daytona and it's a beautiful looking car um, and the Rover believe it or not was actually based on that vehicle if you put the um, Daytona and the Rover side by side they actually do look fairly similar um, you know the Rover looks a little bit different um, but you can see some of the design cues that Rover took when they were making that car you can see it I haven't got through um, yeah I haven't got through as much uh, drink tonight I am more of a coke guy I love coca-cola it's probably my favorite fizzy drink um, obviously they also invented Santa so I mean who doesn't like coca-cola um, yeah tonight we've got Pepsi Pepsi, I'm probably going to offend some of you here, but in my opinion, Pepsi is sort of a knockoff version of Coca-Cola. So, it does taste fairly similar. Um, you know, obviously it's cola, so it all tastes a little bit similar, uh, but it's just not quite as nice as Coke. But, you know, um, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit uh, with what we have each week. Uh, my plan next time is to have dandelion and burdock. That's another brown drink. It's I absolutely detest it, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to go through all the brown drinks, uh, and then we'll move on to something else. Maybe I don't know, lemonade or something like that. Um, but yeah, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Firstly. Let me know what you think of Domino's Pizza, whether you like Domino's Pizza. Secondly, let me know what your favourite toppings are, if you do like Domino's Pizza. Let me know also um, 
whether you enjoy this mukbang series and if you do enjoy this mukbang series what um what food do you want to see me do in the next one because i really enjoy making these mukbang videos it's really nice to sort of just chat like this obviously you guys can't really talk back unless you type in the comments um but i like sharing my opinions on things um if you have something you want me to talk about and discuss then definitely let me know uh i'd love to hear what you guys uh want me to talk about um but yeah, let me know what food you want to see me eat in the next one. And um, also let me know if you have any classic car suggestions. Um, we're talking sort of late 70s, 80s, possibly early 90s era. Um, if you have a car for sale in that area that you want to, uh, to message me about, then please do. But... Um, Yeah, I think um, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. We still haven't got through a full meal yet. Um, we've still got a couple of slices of pizza left down here. Uh, one day I will get on to dessert. When I find a topic that I can uh, talk about for hours, we will get on to dessert. I thought cars was going to be the one, but apparently it's not. Um... But yeah, <clears throat> thank you all so much for watching this episode. I um, hope it wasn't too boring for you. hope you did find this interesting. And uh, if you want to see some videos of my car, my classic mini and my new one, then uh, make sure you subscribe. Um, there'll be some videos around on the channel for you. And um, also um, subscribe for more mukbangs, I guess. And if you want to get yourself some mouldy merch just like this, make sure you check the description down below. And uh, apart from that, I'm glad you all could join me tonight and I will see you in the next video.